Well, that didn't go as planned. Let's play this clip again and see if you notice what actually goes on. Well, you probably guessed it. It was the AEM water methanol failsafe working. A water methanol failsafe is critical as when you're running a water methanol tune, 20 to 25 percent on average volume of total fuel delivered is from the water methanol system. Anything from a empty tank to a clogged line to a failed pump to a short in the system and or even an occlusion at the nozzle will cause a failure in water methanol flow. This is where the failsafe comes in. On the left we have the interface with the water methanol failsafe controller. On the right you can see what the gauge looks like in the vehicle. Here is the log of that last event. The yellow line is the total timing run and the green line is boost. The important thing to note is when the failsafe triggers, look at how much the boost drops from that high point in the middle. It drops and timing drops as well. This is what protects the car. Now let's go watch another pull where the water methanol injection is operating within parameters. you're wondering we've talked about all the downsides to water meth why you have to run a fail safe all the incurred expenses well what does it really get you amazing cooling a lot higher potential for horsepower and with the fail safe it is a very safe and simple system to run why is this important well in this graph you can see the green lines your fuel pressure your white lines your boost and the red line is actually a fail safe system from Cobb to protect for under fueling at the injector and you notice as the boost increases towards the end, the fuel pressure should rise at a one-to-one -one rate. However, the fuel pump is simply maxed out. This is where water methanol injection really relieves a lot of the stress on that single fuel pump. This vehicle, now instead of making the 420 wheel horsepower on 91 octane we maxed it out at, now it makes over 500. And all he added was the water methanol injection kit with the failsafe. We custom tuned it, and here we are. This entire kit was installed and tuned in-house, and the car before was struggling to make the 400 wheel horsepower now, 100 horsepower gain with a couple bolt-ons and some calibration. Keep in mind, you need to set up the fail-safe in the tune. It isn't just the fail-safe programming. You need to go and calibrate the tune to take advantage of a trigger system. Uh, I'm not going to say much more than that because a, a good tuner should know exactly what to do. But just for your notes, make sure the tune's set up for this as well. Mm -hmm. 